สวัสดีค่ะ Thank you very much for joining us here for ASEAN Talks. I'm Pachari Raksa Wong. Now ASEAN gets ready to walk towards the AEC, that is the ASEAN Economic Community, by the year 2015. And as part of that, we're also hearing a lot about the ASEAN Capital Markets Integration. We'll find out all the details regarding that with our guest in the studio today, Kun Thirashai Puwanat Naranuba. Now he is the Secretary General of the Security. Securities and Exchange Commission of Thailand and also in his capacity of chairman of the ASEAN Capital Market Forum which will be organized very soon March the 7th in Malaysia. So what Dika Kuntirashai thank you so very much for joining us on It's the program today. Now first of all can you please tell us about this um, ASEAN Capital Market Forum that we will be seeing very shortly being organized in Malaysia its importance Well, um, it is a meeting of the securities regulators mm -hmm. within ASEAN, uh, to which I share, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, it's, it is a loose um, organization, and uh, we meet uh, twice a year. Right. Um, normally, you know, the, uh, up to now, uh, the meeting, uh, all, uh, the, the various meetings have been in Thailand. Uh, but um, for this next uh, uh, particular meeting, we are going to uh, hold it in uh, Kuala Lumpur. Right. Now, it is a very important meeting as you will be discussing, you and, and the other members as well, the integration of the regional capital markets. Why is the integration of capital markets becoming so important now? Well, you are aware, of course, that ASEAN has the economic um, uh, community goal of 2015. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, um, uh, you know, we are, we are aiming for the whole of the region uh, to have more trade of goods and services, uh, more exchange of uh, people, uh, and, uh, you know, more uh, connectivity mm -hmm. uh, within ASEAN. Uh, and uh, as such, it would lead to uh, more financing needs. You know, with the more trade, the, the, the financing needs will grow. Right. And the traditional channel you know, uh, for which the financial transactions have been uh, uh, accomplished in ASEAN mm -hmm. had been the banking channel. Right. And, you know, with the banking channel, uh, which has been in existence for uh, over 100 years, uh, all the rules uh, uh, and all the infrastructure have already been in place. Mm -hmm. So there isn't that much to, to develop. Uh, but uh, for the next phase um, of development, we anticipate that, you know, the financial Uh, transactions will have to move beyond the banking channel mm -hmm. uh, and it will have to move into the, the capital market channel. And there you know, is where the difficulties start uh, because uh, you know, uh, in, in, in the various ASEAN countries, the, the procedures, the, the, the processes, uh, the regulations you know, that currently exist are uh, uh, somewhat different from one country to another. Right. So that ha you know, had been, uh, um, uh, in a way, a hindrance or, or not been helping mm -hmm. you know, with the, with the uh, ability for capital to flow freely across borders. Right. And this needs to be addressed. Okay. Once again, um, capital markets integration, that's so very important right now because that will um, further enhance and promote greater cross-border access to investors and also to help broaden investor base and range of products as well, thereby strengthening domestic capital markets and providing liquidity perhaps and um, economies of scale perhaps, capacity and ultimately put ASEAN in the position to integrate with the global market. And um, in terms terms of ASEAN, we do have um, 10 nations being a member there and they're at different levels of development. This is an obstacle to integration, yes or no, according to you? Well, uh, it, is, it is a challenge. Mm. Uh, it poses a challenge. Uh, basically, I think ASEAN uh, you know, uh, falls into uh, three groups right now in terms of capital market development. Uh, there is the, 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 the five countries you know, at the top, uh, five or perhaps six if you include Vietnam, mm -hmm. that already have uh, capital markets for quite some time, uh, even though Vietnam is uh, perhaps more recent. And then there are the two countries of Cambodia and Laos mm -hmm. uh, that have just you know, begun. And, uh, uh, the, the hear, sorry, we hear a lot about CMLV. Cambodia, mm -hmm. Myanmar, mm -hmm. Laos, and Vietnam, mm -hmm. and and they're sort of grouped together. But you're grouping it a little bit differently this time. A little time. bit different because mm -hmm. um, you know the agenda 
uh, in terms of capital market uh, for the um, for, for the for the the, the, the newer countries mm -hmm. uh, are different from from one country to another. Right. Uh, and uh, I think the the uh, the emphasis you know, that, that each country places uh, uh, on the the speed of development tends to be different. Mm -hmm. So we are seeing two countries now pulling uh, pulling up, you know, um, towards the towards the, the the first group, and these are um, Cambodia and Laos. Mm -hmm. uh, while uh, the remainder, I think uh, we have to admit the fact that uh, yeah, they will still need some time to make a study, so you know, uh, we will we'll not be uh, too worried about them. Right. Um, let's now talk about this ASEAN Capital Markets Forum that will be organized um, in Malaysia March the 7th. They have their goals. Once again, can you um, highlight once again just very clearly the goals for this forum here? Um, uh, ACMF mm -hmm. um, in 2009 you know, the, uh, had proposed to the finance ministers uh, a clear roadmap in, uh, as to what um, needs to be done for the capital markets in order to become more integrated yes. um, you know, uh, over the years. Uh, and uh, it spells out uh, quite clearly you know, who has to do what uh, each year mm -hmm. uh, going up to the year 2015. Uh, and of course, you know, each year uh, from now on uh, until the year 2015 uh, has uh, its yearly milestones mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, against which we have to measure. Uh, so um, the, the, the meetings that we are holding now um, uh, each year uh, going up to the year 2015 would, um, you know, uh, involve um, um, uh, comparing notes as to the progress, you know, of each prong. Uh, of the of of the line of work, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, trying to identify um, obstacles that still remain, right. and getting rid of the um, of 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 all the problems that still remain, uh, trying to overcome opposition, uh, and uh, 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 and uh, generally be able to report uh, to the finance ministers. You know, when they meet, uh, and the next meeting is in is in early uh, April. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, about the progress, right? You know, you know, all the lack of. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, let's hope for, um, that there is progress more than the lack of progress. But basically, there is the implementation plan that you have just mentioned. That there are phases, and you talked about some obstacles or some opposition. Can you outline for us some of those obstacles or perhaps opposition? Well, let's say uh, I perhaps using the word opposition uh, or obstacles uh, can be perhaps too daunting. Mm. Uh, let's let's call them challenges. Uh, well, basically we are we are looking at you know uh, trying to uh, organize the capital markets within ASEAN such that um, the markets are, are viewed in you know, ASEAN is is, uh, is viewed as uh, an asset class, a, a distinct asset class. Uh, and that uh, can be, you know, considered to be world class, uh, mm. uh, and and a class uh, of products in which you know the the individual markets uh, comply with international best practices. Mm -hmm. And this is why uh, we have to, uh, you know, start off uh, first with having products that are of good quality in terms of corporate governance, you know, and uh, having products that are fair. To the investors in terms of disclosure, mm -hmm. uh, you know, having uh, products that have good standards in terms of accounting, auditing, uh, in terms of you know a regular disclosure of information mm -hmm. to the um, to the investors, uh, as well as you know trying to pave pave the way when products are structured such as in, into what is called collective investment schemes or mutual funds. Uh, these uh, are, you know, we, we are trying to work so that these come up to the same level 